Hello everyone, how are you doing? This is MD Tech here with another quick tutorial. In today's tutorial, I'm going to show you guys how to either enable or disable fast user switching on your Windows 11 computer. So this should hopefully be a pretty straightforward process here, guys. And without further ado, let's go ahead and jump right into it. So if you're running Windows 11 Professional or higher editions of Windows 11, or Windows 10 even, you could go through the Group Policy Editor, which is the easier method in my opinion, and that's the one we're going to do first. However, if you're running Windows 10 Home or you don't want to go through the Group Policy Editor, we can go through the Registry instead. That'll be the second method we're going to cover in today's tutorial. But like going back to what I said in the beginning, we're going to start with the Group Policy Editor. So open up the Search menu, type in Group Policy, Best Match, or come back with Edit Group Policy. Go ahead and open that up. Underneath Computer Configuration, you want to double click on the Administrative Templates folder and then do the same thing for the System folder and there should be a Logon folder on the left side, just left click on that one time. And now on the right side, you want to locate where it says Hide Entry Points for Fast User Switching. Double click on that. So to enable Fast User Switching, you would set it to Not Configured. If you want to disable Fast User Switching, you would set this to Enabled. And then you would select Apply and OK. So again, if you want to disable fast user switching, you would enable this. So again, if you want to disable fast user switching, you would set this to Enabled. If you wanted to enable fast user switching, you would set it to Not Configured. And then you would select Apply and OK to save the change. So I'm just going to set it to Not Configured for right now because whatever options we adjust in here will change the registry editor method. So I just wanted to set it back to Not Configured. But if you're able to make the change through here, I would suggest restarting your computer for the change to take effect, and you should be good to go. Now, we're going to go through the registry editor for the second method here. So we're going to start by opening up the search menu. Type in regedit, R-E-G-E-D-I-T. Best match, come back to registry editor. Go ahead and right-click on that and select run as administrator. If you receive a user account control prompt, select yes. And before you proceed in the registry, I would suggest you create a backup of it. So if anything were to go wrong, you could easily restore it back. In order to create a backup, it's very simple. All you have to do is select File and then Export. File name, I recommend naming it the date in which you're making the backup. Set Export Range to All and then save it to a convenient and easily accessible location on your computer or external hard drive. And if you ever need to import it back in, you just would select File and then Import and then navigate to the file location. And you would select OK, of course, to actually upload it, and that's all you'd have to do. So now we're ready to begin. So start by double-clicking on the HK Local Machine folder. Do the same thing now for the Software folder. Go down and double-click on Microsoft here. And then do the same thing for the Windows folder. Double-click on it. And there should be a Current Version folder. Double-click on that one as well. And then go down to Policies. Double-click on it. And then finally, there should be a system folder in here. Just left-click on that one time. Please note, if you need to pause the video and take note of our file path, it's up at the top of the screen here. Each bank slash is a different subfolder. We've one under to get to this point. So now on the right panel, you want to right-click in a blank area, select New, and then select the word 32-bit value. You want to name this value Hide Fast User Switching. Exactly how you see it on my screen, the first letter of each word should be capitalized. So again, hide, fast, user, switching. Double click on it. Now, if you want to disable fast user switching, you would set it to zero, so the default setting in here. If you wanted to enable fast user switching, you would delete the zero and type the number one, and then you would select OK. And again, once you're done with that, you just would go ahead and close out of the registry editor. And then you would need to restart your computer for the change to take effect.
And there you go, guys. Hopefully, that was a pretty straightforward process of how to either enable or disable the fast user switching feature on your Windows 11 computer. We'll apply for Windows 10 computers as well. So, pretty straightforward process, guys. Do pause to help you out, and I do look forward to catching you all in the next tutorial. Goodbye.